questions yeah in your last video uh, in one of your last videos you talked about agency in humans and how agency is going to be the the distinguishing factor between ai machines and humans uh, but agency when i looked up online it meant something that i think ai is can replicate too so can you elaborate on that what do you mean by agency great question great question humans? okay so so uh for me in the way i was using it in the sentence agency means i'm going to decide on my own that i want to go to uh i don't know new guinea and collect a plant there uh because i want to make a, a piece of art that expresses my feelings as a computer about all this work i'm having to do or i want to make a robot and i, I want to fly to to uh neptune and I just want to take a look around or I want humans to develop so they're more, they look more like rabbits. And so I'm going to a organize them to where they live in, in, uh, you know, uh, small groups and they, you know, they just, uh, eat more vegetables. The computer doesn't have the, the capacity to develop those original, those, uh, uh, original, uh, admittedly, these are silly examples, but, uh, for the original impulse to, to do something they have to be instructed or they have to be pushed right like some humans but but so that's what i mean by agency but i'm curious what did the dictionary say about agency yeah so i i did a i did a search on grok and it says agency for humans is the capacity to make choices and take actions based on their own free will and there you values go. there you go good shaping their lives yeah yeah so the computer the doesn't have free them. yeah okay good Shaping their lives and the world around them on their own, make the choices on their own free will. But it, what it left out was the impulse to do that. I mean, why would a lump of machinery have an impulse to do anything besides do what it's programmed to do? You put in the current, it goes through mm -hmm. its, you know, it goes through its, uh, what are they called? Those decision trees, right? What do you call those? Mm -hmm. Decision. Yeah, but yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like if it, this and that, yeah, yeah. you know, an algorithmic uh, set of, of choices. And then what? Mm -hmm. So so that's what I meant, but it doesn't have the agency. It doesn't have the, the free will to go out and, and make choices about what it wants to see in the world or even around it. Okay, good question. Does that make sense? Okay. Follow up, follow up or no? Yeah, yeah, I have a follow up. Okay. So I want to now dive deeper into uh, this thing called impulse so it reminds me of a of a of a nasuddin story of uh, making halwa like where his wife made the halwa mm -hmm. and then he woke up in the night uh, asking uh, give me the halwa then i tell you one thing and then when she gave him the halwa he said oh we should not sleep with with leftover halwa in the kitchen uh, right. what i understood that is was that there was an impulse uh, uh, to eat like to have something gratifying and then he rationalized that and then he had the halwa so this impulse this, this generation of impulse now wait a minute did he tell his wife to go down like, and make the halwa or did he tell his ask his wife if there was any halwa in the house uh, so what so what happened that in the morning he asked his wife to make the halwa i see uh, and then she made the halwa and he ate a, he ate like more than half of it in the day Mm -hmm. And then they left over and they kept the leftovers. Then they went to bed in the night. Okay. Uh, but then he maybe got hungry or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then he asked his wife, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a very important thing. Uh, if you bring me the halwa, then she brought the halwa. And then he told her that we should not go to bed with the uh, leftover halwa. There you go. Uh, okay. Like, okay. Like okay. with halwa left. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. And you saw that as, so, so, go ahead. So, Rationalization. Yeah, so the, so the way I, I saw that, uh, that, that was one thing, but also, but before that, there was an impulse first to eat or to like, to gratify, right? Yeah, halwa is very delicious. Halwa, I should explain to the general yeah. audience, is it's very delicious and sweet. It's like a dessert. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first, so first there was an impulse. And this impulse is not out of free will. It's how the, like the, the, the mind or the like the, the pain and pleasure center in the body works right 
Yeah. So humans are uh, do not so human do not have free will when it comes to impulse. Right. Go on. Right. So so and this impulse is coming from either from being pleasure center or from the conditioning. Right. Do so animals have free way, will? Do animals I, have free will when it comes to uh, impulse? So animals also will have the same thing. They will feel hungry and they will not have the free will. So they will feel hungry and they will want to eat. What about a Venus flytrap? You know what a Venus flytrap is, right? No, I don't okay, know. It's a plant. It's a carnivorous plant. And it's got these, it's got mm -hmm. beautiful petals, right? And then if a, if a mm -hmm. fly lands inside the, the petals, it closes its mouth and it eats the fly, right? So if a fly lands anywhere close to that, definitely has the impulse to close and to eat that, that fly. All right, go ahead. So now what are we talking about? Yeah. So, so yeah, so, so what I was saying that a, that a differentiation of free will when it comes to agency in humans versus AI, it seems to me that humans, un, maybe unless they are enlightened or they have woken up, they still don't have free will. They're still acting out of impulses and conditioning. Okay, who said anything about so, free will? Where'd you get this notion of free said, will? Right? What? No, you said that. So you said that uh, that uh, agency in humans is where they can decide what to do on their own. Right, but it's not at the level and, of the body. It's not at the, the level way, that level. But the way I, it's not at that level, but still at the still at the level of the of the mind, right? So no, like, it's not at the level of the I mind. It's idea. not even at the level of the mind either. Yeah, have you read Sam okay, Harris's book on like, uh, bless his heart on free will? Okay, first of all, free will. So would, Who's going to have the free will? What's going to have the free will? It seems like this is a question about free will, is it not? So for, yeah, initially it was the, it was about the difference between AI and humans in terms of agency, and then because you you talked about uh, humans being able to decide what to do. I feel that humans don't, humans can't decide on their own. They, they can or they can't? Based on these. They can or they can't? They can't. They can't because they, they don't have free will. Un un unless they are woken up or enlightened, they can't, they can't. Well, they they can and they do, but, but the, the, the I, the ego doesn't register that way. It's just a different in how you interpret, right? And we're getting way deep into some very theoretical things about free will, determinism, and, and, you know, we could also get into all kinds of other things, quantum mechanics and everything else. But if you're trying to say that the human, that the computer doesn't have agency, but that the human does, I would tend to agree with you, but we'd have to get into a lot of details about that, right? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying humans also have very limited agency like when I so like to give an example correct I, correct like that's why it's so important yeah. to prepare yourself so that's why it's so important to have materials that are con that are going to condition you in the beginning to 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 be wise right to be smart to be to be yeah. a, a sensitive and attuned and to be compassionate and, and so when you have these materials around you basically condition your brain Right. Just like if you all you do is read crap on the Internet about, you know, whatever it is. If all you do is watch uh, 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 TikToks on on women's teeth and and that's what you look at on YouTube is teeth, teeth, teeth. Then you're going to walk around and all you're going to see is teeth and your brain is going to like mm -hmm. be very, very focused on teeth. And so that's. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, you could you could control the conditioning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. But, you, but look, even control. Yeah, but but even controlling the conditioning. So let's say, so let's say I'm someone who's used to watching TikTok videos of like of like teeth of women, right? All and right. then, un unless unless somehow a new information is given to me. That I that I should be watching like higher material, not this stuff. I won't be like I won't have a choice to to elevate myself. Like 
because I don't have the agency because my mind is conditioned. So even getting the new information, even getting the higher material, even wisdom, that's also coming through conditioning only. No, it's coming through something called grace. It comes through through other places. I mean, you know, you, you see this. I'm getting lost because it sounds like you're trying to reduce everything to conditioning and you're trying to make everything about free will or agency. Right? You're trying to b collapse okay. the world into these okay. like three concepts. And it, that's... No, no, there, there is randomness too. There's randomness too. No, no, no. is there randomness really? Stephen Wolfram doesn't think so. So, so like when... Let's so take, like let's take this. Grace, let's take, like... okay, let's take a bunch of molecules in a, in a piston right gas molecules in a piston mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now if you're measuring pressure it looks like those molecules are moving randomly right mm -hmm. but what if you're measuring yeah. mole what if you're measuring molecules they don't think it's random they don't feel it is random mm -hmm. and it's not random from a molecular point of view mm -hmm. so randomness is just kind of the edge of our, our intelligence right it, we say it's random because we can't we can't grok it we can't compute it you see yeah so read yeah. You, you see that I, I recommended that Steve Wolfram remember that on the on Twitter yeah, yeah, on yeah, X yeah. Yep. have you watched any yep. of that on the observer problem yeah I haven't watched I still I'm yet to watch it okay I think that'll help all right because he's he's almost ready to throw randomness out because it completely completely okay. depends on the observer right Mm -hmm. So I mean one one idea yeah one understanding I have of randomness is randomness is basically just things that or events that I still haven't figured out the actual reasoning of them because my mind is limited. Perfect. So now, that, so now randomness is not real, but the limits of mine are real, right? Yeah. And so it, he also points out in this beautiful uh, uh, piece. Why don't you ask me a question about randomness, all right? 